Yo, what up guys? NJ Bike Life here. About to go traveling through Lakewood because why not? And I figure we'll talk a little bit about my new bike. I've had it for quite some time now. I have a feeling I understand a little bit about it and the ups and downs and the etc. So we could totally talk about it. Also, why was the dollar eighty nine? BJ's got the dollar seventy one for regular gas. That's just ridiculous, man. Speed limit's fifty, and this guy's got some scrap, so he's cool in my book. But anyway, red light. Back to the topic at hand. Let's talk a little bit about this 2005 FZ6 review. Hello. I don't know who that is, but I'm such a sweetheart, I'll wave at anyone. But yeah. This FZ, the 2005 FZ, Six, 600 cc, Yamaha. And it's not the quickest bike in the world, but it's definitely quick. That guy didn't wave, but I don't think he honestly saw me, so it's all right, dude, if you watch this later. I'll, I'll take the, the disrespect of you not waving as you didn't see me, so it's all good. But anyway, yeah, this bike, dude, this bike is awesome. The mirrors are sweet. The seating position is the best. Uh, it's very, it's, so far it seems like pretty low maintenance, but then again, I've only had it for like 1,200 miles. And I already put new tires on it, so the tires are obviously doing just fine. But it's perfect for everything that I want to do. I want to be able to ride on the parkway, I want to be able to ride on the turnpike, ride on the higher interstates, and I want to be able to just put around town and get lost in Lakewood. But that's never going to happen because Lakewood's pretty small and it's all major stuff, so. But it's not heavy, you know, it's not a pain to ride, it's very smooth, it's not too torquey, it's not, you know, super fast. I have the stock exhaust on it, so it's, it's nice and quiet. I don't have to worry about going deaf after riding it for like an hour like the WR. Look, $1.79 they get here, it's ridiculous. But, um, yeah. And like the, oh my god, if people keep hitting me with their high beams, I'm, I'm literally giving everyone the finger today. But the FC is like a great bike, it's nice and low to the ground, you got, you know, you're sitting straight up, you don't lean over too much, the throttle, it responds quick as anything, but it's not like over powerful. get too hot um, the look I, I really like the look of this bike other than the front for some reason the front of this bike fuck it I was gonna stop but one time I did that and I stopped and the guy was like oh you could have went through that Ugh. and I was like dude I'm not in a big ass car like you are like give me a break so I'm not taking my chances no more and it's liquid so but on the other note, like, you know, the side is amazing. The fairing is, is amazing. Now that I cleaned the back up, the back was like my biggest complaint because the, the rear fairing was just annoying as anything looking. So now that I got rid of that, the thing is like so clean in the back. The exhaust is so clean being underneath the seat. The only thing I would change, well, I wouldn't really change anything, but I kind of like the blacked out look. So, when it comes to, like, the frame color, I, I probably would have liked the black frame color better than the, than the machine silver or aluminum color. And then, as far as the, uh... 
as far as like the swing arm, the swing arm, I'll see if I can provide you guys a picture, but the swing arm is also like that machine's color. It's like a very plain looking swing arm. It looks like pretty cheap. So I might have been done something a little bit different as far as that goes. The bike looks like a sports bike, but it's not. It's... I, w I mean, I could ride this thing for like four hours and not have an issue, so it's more of like a cruising bike to me. But that's just me. I, I could ride the dirt bike for hours upon hours too, so it's like very, it's different for me. But, you know, it sits nice and low. The, the windscreen is good. The wind doesn't go directly right into my face. It hits me like right above the head, which is good. The reason why I got the FC6, the main reason was the riding position. I didn't really know anything about the bike other than the riding position was like straight up which is exactly what I wanted. I didn't want anything that was leaned over or ridiculous and I definitely didn't want a cruiser, so. It did the job for as far as front up position. It's it's pretty quick, like I was saying, but it's not too quick where you can get in trouble a lot. <clears throat> Let's see who's gonna run the red light here. It's just like, it just sucks here. An idiot. Did you see how bad that guy just ran that light? Wow. Full snow cat on that guy. The brakes, let's mention the brakes, we mentioned the speed. The, the brakes on this bike are actually really nice. They're, they're adjustable on the right for the front. They're probably adjustable in the back, but I never felt the need to. But the front brakes are like, so responsive the things that I that I can say that I don't like about this bike um, like I said I don't like the front the front's kind of fugly looks kind of like a bug face uh, the seat if I'm really nitpicking the seat could probably be a little bit wider but that's just me nitpicking because I decided to make a review video on my bike and don't really have anything bad to say about it outside of the front's ugly, the rear is ugly, so if you get a Defender Eliminator, it'll look so much better. Um, Yeah, I don't, I don't really know of anything else that's bad. I guess maybe, you know, the bars are fine. If you wanted to do aftermarket, uh, if you wanted to do aftermarket frame sliders, a lot of the frame sliders for this bike are, are pretty ugly. If I have to say something, I mean, that would be one thing. The aftermarket frame sliders are pretty ugly. The exhaust is really quiet on this bike, but uh, me personally, I like it. But if you wanted to get another exhaust, the exhausts are pretty expensive for it since it is a dual exhaust. That's, that's pretty lame. It rides really smooth, the front fork is really soft and really responsive when you're in turns. The rear shock is also really firm, really tight. So you kind of just like stick the turns when you're, when you're in them, which is nice. It's always a good thing. Yeah, if you guys didn't have any questions about the FC6, I mean, be sure to let me know. I hate this stuff, when you pass on the right. Cool, no one's coming. Whenever you're passing like that around a bunch of cars and you don't know if there's a car that wants to turn left on their straight end, 
always be sure to get visible or get some sort of line of sight so you could see them. Because I had an instance where my buddy thought it was good to pass, so he passes on the right, and as he's passing, the car starts turning left, and he almost crashed. He, like, literally, like, just missed the back of them. So, in instances like that, guys, just always, always keep your eyes open and always keep, you know, a, a steady grip on your on your brakes and so forth. Twice in one day. Yo, you gotta love the Jersey Shore. I got NJ Bike Life sticker on my windshield along with the, uh, one of the best football teams out there, the Raiders sticker. So pretty stoked about that so if you guys see a, a blue bike with those stickers you know it's me so be sure to stop and say yo what up NJ Bike Life here even though I'm NJ Bike Life and you're just here yeah we're going left <laughs> 